Thank you, Jeff. Uh, I would like to, to introduce uh, a, a part of the, uh, on the GMO traceability. Uh, what, uh, most of the work resulted from COEXTRA, but also from the previous uh, research project like QPCR GMO food, GMO ships, or the MIFGAN and in the FP6 Sigma. It means that in the GMO detection area and traceability, we are a community of uh, scientists working not only uh, as scientists, but in a standardization bodies like National or SEN or ISO, and also working in, uh, all together with uh, 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 European Commission, for instance, uh, in the ENGL, European Network of GMO Laboratory, chaired by the Joint Research Center. So uh, it is a main difference between the GMO traceability system and other areas because we are always in uh, front of the European Commission, of the national competent authorities, of the industry, and uh, clearly we, we are uh, facing and using our interaction to facilitate the, the life of industry and administration. Uh, the traceability issues, we will focus on one part of, of those. But what you have to keep in mind is that uh, uh, most of the, uh, uh, of the acreage of GMOs are outside Europe. So the so availability or reference material is of utmost importance in order to be able to develop the methods or to be able to check, to validate the methods or to certify the results are accurate. So it was important that during the FP5 research project, we show that issues that clearly influenced the uh, 2003 uh, regulations uh, which were uh, released at this moment. So we are also uh, facing uh, huge imports of GMO, mostly for feed purposes, and the traceability now is mostly facing the issue of detecting unapproved GMO. And in the unapproved GMOs, there are two kinds of GMOs. GMOs, they, they can be approved in third countries, and GMO, they are unapproved in uh, other country or in the EU. And we have been facing that issue. So the question will be, our European consumer can be sure that GMO are present below a threshold of retweetus or technically unavoidable <coughs> presence. And it is important to have a threshold because all the trade in general is on a, a private, contractual, uh, uh, or uh, threshold. Uh, when you are buying, for instance, gold, you are using a threshold. When you are buying potatoes, natural potatoes, you are using a, a threshold. And how could we be sure that labeling is, is true? And now I, I give the floor to my colleague, Arne Olsensen. 